Yo, Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like us. Let's talk about the New York Mets. Let's talk about how the Mets are pretty much ran like the bastard stepchild of the New York Knicks. At least the Knicks carried New York for at least, I'll say, 15 years with the great Knicks teams of the 90s. Yes, some would argue that the Mets had success here and there, but they win a championship, they go to the World Series, and boom, one or two seasons later, they just suck. Now, let's ask the question why. In my, I have a few conspiracy theories of my own. I think that because the Mets play in New York City, you know, they might get caught up in the nightlife. They might have, you know, soft regulations when it comes to living in life. You know, chugging a few beers, you know, going, playing games while drunk. That's how they play. So when Willie Randolph was the manager of the Mets, he made his team shave their beards. It was like basically being in boot camp. Because you know why? Because the New York Yankees playing in New York City with their historic franchise... They know how to run a franchise. They know about the distractions of playing in a city like New York. Obviously, the New York Mets haven't gotten that memo. Because here you have Edwin Diaz, who is a phenomenal pitcher, a closer, who came off a record-breaking season when it came to save, something like that. I'm pretty sure he set a record. Then he comes to the Mets, and he's a disaster. It only happens to the Mets. The only bright side is Pete Alonzo because if you see his pedigree, he reminds you of a player that you would see in the 80s. So with that being said, the Mets have an opportunity to completely turn their franchise around. I'm talking about a 360 spin, like a basketball, like somebody spinning a globe. They have the opportunity to trade for New York ready players. Like, for an example, Clint Frazier. Like, for an example, if you want to take it to the extreme, if you want Noah Syndergaard and Duhar. Yes, if the Mets were smart, they would look at the Yankees as their number one trade partner. Which, if you look at it, they are. So, are the Mets going to at least flirt with the idea of at least trading an arm to the New York Yankees. I think they would trade Zach Wheeler in a heartbeat to the Yankees. Noah Syndergaard, hmm, whatever. I think that's possible as well. But like I said, you're going to have to say goodbye to players like Miguel and Duhar if you want Syndergaard. Obviously, with years of control, it's common sense. I know people in the comments are going to get mad. Why are you suggesting to trade in Duhar? I mean, if you want Noah Syndergaard, I mean, that's what they're going to ask for. So a similar picture in Zach Wheeler, who is basically a Noah Syndergaard clone, who is, in my opinion, more fragile than Noah, but they have the same kind of stuff. So in my opinion, with Zach Wheeler on the IL, obviously he's going to come back by trade deadline. If you could get him for less than what it would take to get Noah Syndergaard, I would pull the trigger on Wheeler only, only on an extension. Like I said in my previous video, if you see that the Red Sox and the Yankees like a particular picture, I'm talking about out of all MLB teams, the Yankees and the Red Sox like this one picture, they just love them out of all of the arms out there. They just love Wheeler. Something is there. So again, obviously the Mets have a better general manager. He looks like he doesn't play around. He, he looks like he knows what he's doing. If I am correct, if Van Wagenen, who sounds like an action hero, Van Wagenen, Brody, if he is smart like I think he is, then you'll see one of the Mets pitchers go to the Yankees. And hey, I'll throw this out there as sounding crazy. If the Yankees and Mets could discuss... An arm like Wheeler, obviously, I don't think they're going to get Thor or can land Thor. I know they can land Wheeler, though. I would try to discuss, hey, 
what is it going to take to, let's say, get a Wheeler and a Diaz? Hmm, that's something to think about. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the Yankees and the Mets matching up? Who do you prefer, Wheeler or Thor? If you prefer Thor over Wheeler, what is it going to take to acquire Noah Syndergaard? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page, NYY.